I'm not even sure if this is going to show up very well. I don't know if my lighting is good enough, but I have these candles that I showed you in my last video. I, I want to empty the jars because I decided I really want to start out with fresh wax, with the proper wax. Since there was a question about what the, the quality of these candles. And also I'm trying to learn a little bit about the the different burning patterns that are taking place in these can in these candles. And I started out yesterday just with this candle here, this small one on the left here. It was on the right. <laughs> um, this this yellow one here. Um, it, it's, it burned for about nine hours yesterday. And it's about um, a third of the way down now. It's burning really well, The as you can see. The wax kind of melts in the container. It turns completely liquid, and then it it dissipates. It it goes, it, and the wax the wick has stayed nice and tall, and the way down is burning evenly. And I did these this morning. These three. Um, apologize for my camera. I'm not very good at holding with my hand. But these three, the wicks, I had to uh, get to the wick. The wick was either too short or had broken or something. So I, I couldn't get to the wick. I couldn't get them to light. So I poured some, poured some hot water in the top of the candle. And, um, and then it sit on that wax and it started to melt the wax and then you can see the globules of wax just coming, rising to the top of the water. And then I just dumped that out and lit them. And now they're burning really well. They've been burning now for, oh, an hour or two, probably about two hours. And the, again, the wick is staying nice and tall and straight. So they have the same kind of, of wax in them. Um, now, curiously, this red, this red one and this green one here on beside it, these two, apparently they appeared to have the same kind of wax. It still was a gel kind of wax and um, they lit real well and they, and they burned, but now that they've been burning for about, I would say an hour and a half to two hours, the, let me see if I can get in the top, the flame is very low the red one is so low. Let me see. How do I do this? There. It's very low. It's hard to see the angle there. Maybe you can see it there. It's it just looks like it's gonna go out. It just is it's it's just burning so slowly. The wax seems to be pulling around at the same here. Well, it's a little too short. Um, it's burning, but it, it doesn't look good. So I'm going to probably have to stop it and put some more water, trying to expose more of the more of the wax, I think. The yellow candle here, the tall yellow, the same thing. You can see that it's just bur it was burning well. Um, but whoops. <laughs> I really suck at this. Jeez. There you go. It was burning well, but now that the now that we have, you see how much of the liquid wax is sitting on top, and it's just kind of drowning that the, the wick. And the wick was plenty long enough. Um, it seems to me that it's just burning too slowly. It's not burning. See, this the flame is nice and hot in this one. The flame is nice and hot in these. But here it's just barely, barely going. So I think what's happening is the wax is melting, but it's not hot enough. So it's not dissipating or whatever is the term. I don't even know if that's the right term. Now this red one here, this red one beside it, this is the one that had this earth. Uh, mark on it that I said it didn't feel quite the same. Well, if you can look, it felt almost like a real candle. And if you can see at the top of this, 
Let me see if I sit down, maybe it's easier. See, at the top of the yellow one, you can see the liquid wax at the top. You can see the liquid here easily, how that gel wax is just pretty much melted. It's like a tea light looks like when it's lit. Same thing with these, you can see it. But this red one, which I thought was maybe a different kind of a candle, it's just more like melted wax. It just looks more like a, a regular candle. And if you look inside it, it doesn't look, see this one looks very liquid, very like watery. This one looks like melted wax. So it's almost, yes, like this was more like a candle. It's more, it had more properties that a, from a pillar, with a pillar candle than it does with a, um, a normal, a normal, like a tea light. So I'm thinking this might have been one of those candles refills. That somebody bought the refill, um, <laughs> see it looks like they, they bought it because it's the same as this. The jar is exactly the same as these Novena jars. But the candle was different. So we'll see how that goes. And then here I have this one, of course. Um, this is Our Lady of Guadalupe that I was using that I had been my, <clears throat> excuse me, my spell candle. And it's the same thing's happening to the flame. It's kind of suffocating, as you can see. It's hard to see because of these labels, let me. Please don't um, complain about the camera work. I know it's bad. <laughs> but there, so you could barely, barely see the candle lit inside. It's really suffocating in that wax. Okay, so I'm going to continue to watch, and, and I'll report back. I think what's going to happen is I think these small ones are going to do just fine, all four of them. These taller ones, I think I'm going to have to probably blow them out or they're going to go out themselves and then I'm going to put some hot water on there try to free up some more of the wick and see if that helps but the, my point is if the wick is not the right size in these candles um, it's not going to be hot enough and the, it's not going to melt fast enough and that's my theory so I think that's what's happening a little bigger wick would probably um, cause those to burn a little better. So I'll be back with some more updates in a little while. Okay, three of the candles have gone out. So I moved them over here so I could show you what I did the last time. If we look in there first, we can see this red one. <laughs> um, the wick looks like it should be long enough. We just poured the wax so that was laying on top off of it because um, we want to add water to this candle. But I'm, I'm already kind of, wait a minute, can you hand me one of those, um, the shorter ones? I want to see if the, I think the wick already, I, I look at it, the wick doesn't look to be the same size. Let me see. It doesn't. I don't know if it's in the film here. Wait. Let's move that out of the way. Um, I don't know if it'll show up on camera here or not. I'm very bad at getting the... But the wick, which is still burning, I don't want to blow that out. It's burning so well. Definitely. It's definitely bigger, my husband says, than either this yellow candle Thicker. thicker, I mean thicker, and yeah, bigger. You can talk so we can hear you. My husband's standing here helping me. Um, you can, it's bigger in diameter. It's a thicker, thicker wick. Not how far it stands up. Than these, either the yellow or this red one. It's hard to tell. I know it's hard to tell on film. But this is my theory that the wick is just a little bit too small for these jars. Which is why, you know, they were pulling on top. See, this red one, even when we moved it, it's still burning really well. And you can see the liquid, the melted wax laying on the top. 
the flame is still nice and strong and straight. It's been doing that even with fans on. We have a ceiling fan on, and there's a there's a another fan across the room that's windows are open, so it's a really good strong candle. Um, but these I'm not sure of, and this one. My, my, this is just a straight novena candle. Why can't I? I can't seem to figure out my filming. There you go. <laughs> I keep moving my hand the wrong way. Um, again, it was just, it was so small in there. Uh, it's hard to tell because of the wax on the jar. But, um, let's see. But I'm going to try to take some of that wax out. So I'm going to show you what happens. I'm going to ask my husband to pour slowly into this red candle. Where do I get in, in line here? Okay, wait. Let me get in line here with it. So I can say, okay, you want to pour wax. And I want, to sh I want you to see what happens to the wax. Okay, he's poured water. About a half inch. About a half inch. He just covered the top. And all of a sudden you see blobs of, yeah, you can yeah, see the bubbles on the top. See the bubbles coming up? Those are actually, <laughs> it's just globules, there you go. Glo little globs of wax going, now you can see it really well. Going and floating up on top of the liquid there, up on top of the water he poured in. And it's just what's happening is we're just trying to expose more of the wick so that we can light it again and see if we can get this out of here. I think it's really very probable that I could just continue to boil water in here and dump out wax. And it would, um, if I just want to empty the jar, but I'm that wouldn't give me much information. I'm trying to acquire as much information as I can here in the process, hoping to learn. Again, so my conclusion right now is that here, do you want to do it in the yellow one too? Mm -hmm. Well, both of those actually. Yellow. Yeah, the yellow one and the one beside. I don't know, we'll see the same action. In the yellow, we see it right away happening. The wax floating up to the top. Oh, and here you can get a good view of that wick, how terrifically off-center it is. There we go. Which is also not helping the situation. It's really off to the side. Care must be taken in putting the wick in that they are centered. Now this one, the Nonavina candle, I don't see that action <coughs> happening. Do you? It's very it's slow. Right down here. It's very slow. Okay, there it is. It's very slow. A little bit. Not, not the same reaction to the heat as the other ones. Yes, it's. You can say that a lot, so people can hear you. I thought I did. <laughs> Say it again. I said it's the white one is moving slower. It doesn't have seeming it seems to have the same reaction uh, to the heat that the other colored candles are. Right. It's it's see this one, See the red one. See the red <laughs> yeah. one. See all that wax floating on the top now. Right. Right. And the yellow one's starting to do the same thing. But the white one, very little, very little. And I can look in there and I can see the wick just still sitting there and there. Kind of sad. Let's see if I can get a better. How do I, how do, I do this? Get this in the center, not that. Oh, wait. Oh, yes. Yeah. See, I'm trying to, it's my view. Oh, there it is. It's because of my view. You know, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Ten years of using this camera, and I just now figured out I could change that. <laughs> I am so challenged. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> anyway, what, uh, I don't know, I'm not. I'm not too optimistic about this Havina candle, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Now, um, if you want to take this, Joe, if you want to take the red one, mm -hmm. we have this container. Show them the container that we have. It's just that we can discard it because I don't want to put this in yeah. the sink. <laughs> so don't don't put wax down your drain, people. No. Okay. So it's just an old container we're dumping this wax in. Then he can put then when it cools it can go into the trash. 
He's just pulling that out. And now if you put the candle back down, we can see how much of the wax, the wick, <laughs> see the wick the has wick. been exposed. See, that's how much wax went away. Oh, yeah. Say that again. The, the wick is dark where it was burning. And all that light colored wick, that's just been exposed for the first time. That's how, yeah. much, that's how much wax we just took out of there. The wick below the, the dark, the burn part. Yep. Yeah, maybe I can light burn my hand. There we go. Oh, yes, I have a good bit of wick. A good bit of wick. That's the ugliest wick. <laughs> <laughs> but again, it's a very thin wet wick. Looks like it? the uh, Loch Ness wick. Yeah, okay, you want to you wanna do the same thing with the yellow one and or the yellow candle? Okay, maybe we'll be able to see this better. It's oh, later. you can see this one better. Okay. Look at that. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. Now I can turn on my light. A lot of wick is now exposed. Wait, let me try my trick that I learned. Oh, look, I can do this. They didn't see that. Oh, they can't <laughs> see it, but... <laughs> but me, I'm just... And I can straighten this wick up. I put it myself. A lot of wick. A lot of wick exposed now. This is an award-winning cinematography or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, little guy red, burning like a crazy person. Okay, so I'm going to relight these candles, take them back and put them in place, and see if exposing more of the wick, we can get rid of some where the wax house is going to burn. I think I'm going to trim the... Also, I think I'm going to trim that wick a little bit at the top. Because so, remember, trimming it, your yeah. wick... Yeah, that one didn't do anything. I think this one's going to just go in the trash. Yeah. <laughs> Recycling. <laughs> well, I don't know. We can try to, we can try, we can melt it out. We can melt it out. Yeah. And put it in a hot, a pan with hot water. Yep. So we can try that. So we'll try that. But anyway. Okay, I'm going to trim these wicks and then we'll light them again. So I'll be back in one second. Okay, I've just put my Novena candle here on a pan of hot water on the stove. And I'm just going to try to get that wax to, to wax to <laughs> the max, the wax to melt down and so I can pour it out of the candle and holder and reuse the holder. I'll either reuse it or recycle it, but I don't want it full of wax. And then over here, I have... Uh, repositioned and I have these two and I've trimmed the wick a little bit um, can you see it's still nice and tall though I've trimmed some of that off of it that was covered with the wax this one you can see a lot better um, I'm the worst filmer there you can see that a lot better I've trimmed the, the wax off of it off the top Okay, and now I'm going to ask Joe to, to light those, if you would like them. Remember when you go to light a candle, you got to show them the proper way. When it's down in there, if you have to use these lighters, you want to you want to tilt it a little bit so that you can. Don't try to just stick it straight down in there, it won't work. That noise was just the, the water burning off the wick. It's okay. And he's going to do the same thing with, with this one. Huh. And I have two little pieces of candle wax burning in that one for some reason. Yeah. So we'll see. Now right now I've got a strong flame, but right now you can see in this yellow one, all of a sudden it's it's not a very strong flame compared to the shorter ones, compared to these. I'm still going to stand by my theory that the wick, the wick is just not the right size for these containers, but we'll see what happens. I'll come back and I'll give you an up to date, up to date, up to date. And up to date, <laughs> real soon. This is the jealous video I've ever done. Okay, <laughs> just when you thought this could not get any more exciting. Um, my Novena candle is now empty. No, there it is. Now empty, I, I had it in a pan of hot water. Um, where I melted the wax, poured the wax, what was left of the wax into a an old yogurt container, which can now go into the, we can dispose of it, not ever down the drain, never down the drain. 
And then at the end, I took a hot water kettle and poured hot water in there. All the water that had wax of any kind in it, um, we took out and just threw outside in the dirt. <laughs> Even though it didn't have much wax in it, we just didn't want to put it in the trash. Or, or in the, I, I should say, in the drain. Never, never, never. Oh, very expensive mistake. <laughs> um, all I have stuff to do to this, so I was got to get this. It's hard on the label. Take the labels off, which is like you do on any jar. And then I will... I will repurpose this for some other thing. Okay. I just wanted to come in because I wanted to show you a few interesting facts for the day. Okay. Remember that the yellow candle over here, I'm going to, I'm going to just for fun, here's the red one. Let me move these. And let me move the yellow. So you can see, see the mineral. The yellow candle on the left was the candle that I started burning yesterday. It was yesterday now. It burned for nine hours yesterday. And then it has been now burning today. Um, let's see. About six and a half hours. Okay. So it's been total about 15 hours or so burning. The other three small short ones to the right, the red, the green, and the blue, um, I didn't start until today. So the yellow candle got a good three hour, I mean six hour head start, and look what has happened. They're all about the same size. I think what is happening here is the red, the yellow, the red and orange and the blue, um, are burning a little bit hotter. They're burning a little bit faster than the yellow. I'm not sure. I would try to see if the wick was the same because I had something interesting to show you about that. But anyway, they're burning nicely. I'm very happy with this. They would they would have worked to fine on an altar. The, the flames look a little large maybe, especially on camera. But I want to remind you that I have fans blowing in here. So they're really, I'm fanning the flames literally. <laughs> So that's, that's um, without blowing them out, but they're just getting a lot of air, so they're really burning. Now, interesting fact for my day is, I want to go here first to the candle on the right. This candle on the right was the one that I said, this had the earth symbol on it and the sigils, and I think you can very clearly see, even in my lighting, the layer of liquid wax on under the flame. It's about in three quarters of an inch maybe an inch um on top this was a candle that i thought i suspected was even one of those refillable candles but i could tell right away whatever it was it was a different consistency than the candle the other candles which felt more jelly like a gel when i touched it this was more harder it, of harder consistency it felt closer to a candle and in the very beginning it did um it needed, the wick needed attention, as the wick and all of them needed attention. Okay, but um, these candles now beside it, both the yellow and the red, these are the wicks that I, I um, you know, remember I trimmed wicks and I, I, I also put in hot water to try to get a nice longer wick. And once I got the wick, um, a nice size wick. They burn, they're burning better, but they're burning, they're not burning as well. If you put, let me see, let me get this red one and put it beside. I think we can see, if we can, if we can envision, you know, I am so sorry. I'm not paying attention. You're probably looking at my jars of tincture behind. <laughs> let me get this moved. Where well, you can see it, there we go. Now you can see it on the white background, that's easier. Um, the candle to the left, this is the one that I said had a little different kind of a wax in it. That's a nice flame. I could live with that flame very easily. Um, there might be a glare, I apologize. But for ritual, that it's, it's putting off a ni ni nice amount of light. But these red and yellow candle to the right here, these two candles, the flame is just barely hanging on. 
it's just it's threatening at any minute it's it's one of those you know you could just see the vigor of that flame compared to this um it's just i don't know if i would trust that during a ritual i would worry it's a kind of candle that it's going to just peter out and blow out okay the green candle here again too it the, the flame is really strong it's really struggling um, in this, you see, compared to here, it's really struggling, like it's almost in the verge of being drowned. So I'm not quite sure where we're going with that. But I did make one discovery I want to show you, because I'm real excited about this discovery. When I emptied this candle holder, I know being a candle, um, I, mel I, I didn't burn it all up. When it got partially down, I melted the wax and then poured the wax out and so I was able to save the wick. And this is the wick that was inside it. I don't know, on my dark counter you might be able to see. Okay, there's the tab and there's the wick. Okay. And it's a wax wick just like the ones that I showed you in my last video that I bought. Which I just happened to have here. <laughs> I think you can see pretty clearly, even in my bad lighting, that the, the wick I'm holding in my hand, which is the new wick that I purchased, is much larger than the wick that came out of the candle. There they are side by side, much bigger in diameter. I'll maybe lay them down the table you can see maybe better. There you go much bigger in diameter. And I will remind you that this wick that I purchased, I purchased for a candle of this diameter. For this very candle that I pulled this wick out of. So the struggle was real, the struggle was real. The wick was the wrong size wick. I rest my case. <laughs> I think I hit it on the nail right on the on the head I had the nail on the head right there the wicks are struggling it didn't really matter too much and I'm going to look I'm going to again examine I just want to say that I really believe I'm looking more at these wicks and these shorter ones even though they're the same diameter of the taller ones the wicks are much larger they're much bigger in diameter than the wicks than this wick for instance here this little yellow wick, very, very slender. Very slender. It seems more, it seems to match this one. So I'm anxious to see that. So I will be taking those out. Before they get to the bottom, I'm going to examine that wick and really see for sure. Okay, I don't think I'm going to come back anymore with this today. <laughs> How much of this kind of a video can you actually stand, really? Only the diehard. People, I said, like I said in my disclaimer, only the people that have already watched everything there is to watch on Netflix will even bother watching this. But um, it's just a lesson to be learned. You know, when we do any kind of working, when we kind of work with tools, especially tools we want to use to do magic, but especially tools that we want that, that may be potentially dangerous, like working with fire, working with flame, we want to do some research. We really want to be careful here. You know, if you're going to be attentive and stand right beside it and never, and never, you know, leave it unattended, um, you can take the risk. But even so, because I'm, I'm still going to stay attentive to these candles, I'm not going to leave them burning when I'm not an attention, having attention to them. So, um, but I still want them to be safe. I don't want the glass to shatter and the, the hot wax to go all over the place and burn me or maybe burn my pets or or ruin my counter or my floor, you know. I just don't want that to happen. And remember my <laughs> my altar cloth. I mean, yeah, we know that happens, so we get the wax on the water cloth, altar cloth, but are we asking for trouble? I mean, are we going to take some kind of precautions to prevent it? That's all. Okay, I will come back in another video and show you my finished... Well, I think I will show you when I'm pouring a candle, and then, I'll show, and then you'll be able to see the finished candle. <laughs> Thank you for your patience and thanks for watching. I wish you blessings.